It's a brilliant Saturday morning, and a youth football scrimmage is just getting underway. On the sideline, 44-year-old Karen Jones stands watching her son Michael. She's joined by her husband Bill and her younger son Mitchell, as well as a nanny and a good friend. If it weren't for the oxygen tube she's wearing, you'd never know that Karen was ill, much less that she has stage four lung cancer. And you'd never realize that this is Karen Jones in hospice. I mean, I thought, my gosh, I mean, that's the end. Like, I'll go into some bed in some facility and, you know, that'll be it. And it's been completely different and it's been so helpful. In hospice, treatment comes to Karen, allowing her to conserve energy for herself and her family. Well, hospice, I, I was like, you go somewhere to go to hospice to die. I never thought of them coming into your house to help you. So it was very actually convenient to have the nurse's aide come, to have the nurse come to you, to have the doctor come to you. I mean, it was incredibly helpful. Blood pressure 100 over 70, uh, temperature 97.8, respirations a tad bit high. Okay. But the beauty of hospice is that it provides us with the resources we need to live our lives here at home. And the benefit to that is that my wife is able to be here every day to interact with the kids, to interact with me, to take on the activities that she wants to take on. And hospice with the doctors and the nurses and the, the caregivers during the day and if you need them at night, put you in a position, put the patient in a position to maximize whatever energy level they have. And it tends to have a positive impact on the patient. Verna Can lives with her daughter, Linda Gorham. Verna's a creative woman. She makes quilts, works with clay, paints, draws, including the illustrations for a children's book written by her granddaughter. She's even shot and edited her own documentaries. Now 80, she suffers from congestive heart failure. They told my daughter that I had six months to live. It could be three months, could be six months, it could, you know, and her voice kind of trailed off. So I, I knew then it was serious. So I came home and got ready to curl up in the bed, draw up my feet in, in my fetal position and die. The doctor was extremely concerned. Mom's condition had worsened to the point that she was going to recommend hospice. So Verna entered hospice one year ago. I know I'm going to die, I said to myself. I don't have to do it right this minute. My mother was on hospice care for a year, and we received notice um, this week, actually, that her condition was stable and that she was no longer um, a candidate or no longer needing hospice services. They're saying I don't need it. Uh, I'm, I've been consistent through the six months that they didn't look for me to live. So now that with this consistency has ca caused me to be kicked out. I can't be the little diva I was trying to be, but it's okay. It's okay. And the reason why it's okay because that's a good sign. What's more, Verna and her daughter know that if Verna's health declines, she can always re-enter hospice. Michael Smith passed away in late March of 2012 at age 51 after his long struggle with cancer. When the hospice social worker first called to offer help, Nancy declined. She didn't have time to grieve. At some point in the spring, I had gotten a call from Franz Moore at hospice about this is a service we provide and you know when you're ready. And when all of that dust settled and I have finally had time to kind of think about me, I finally also started with the bereavement support uh, from hospice. She called as soon as the boys left for school and became an empty nester, which was another loss. And we began some individual counseling at that time. I just felt, you know, um, this opportunity's been given to me. I'd never gone to counseling before. I didn't know anything about it. And um, I started one-on-one -on -one with Fran. Many people don't 
really fully start feeling their feelings until several months have passed and that's when it gets really painful and difficult and they could use the extra support and they seek it out then. It was very helpful to have somebody come at this in terms of here's where you are, you know, and um, you people have the capacity to stay there or wallow or move up. And, you know, to have somebody say to me, I think you're a person who can move up, you know, gain something from this and give back um, was very helpful to me.